Hi everybody, I know I'm one minute early. I am doing that so I can actually hop on over and add this over to my VIP group. Um, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I've been busy, busy, busy. I've been live, this will be my third live today. And I'm still in my walking boot and I'm still trying to get everything done and it's just like, ah, lots of stuff. But crafting and chalking makes me happy. So I am in my element for sure. All right, I'm gonna send this over to the VIP group. If you are not a designer and you would love to be in the VIP group, please comment the v our VIP below so I can get you guys over there. This is a live demo today. I don't know why. Okay, hold on. Just trying to post that over there. Okay, so we are gonna do a notebook. I love our notebooks, they are so cute. Um, and yes, you can chalk on paper. How cool is that, right? So um, we have notebooks, we have cards, we have cards like um, card stock, um, stuff like that. So it's super, super cool. This is chalk suede. So um, it's basically, how can I describe it? It's like a craft pa like paper, but with like a wax film over top of it. But I'm gonna tell you guys, you guys are gonna wanna wax this because when you use a um, transfer on it, sometimes the transfer will do a roly-poly action and we obviously don't want that to happen. Um, if you're hopping on, say hello. Sometimes I can see comments, guys. Sometimes I can't. It just depends on what Facebook wants to do. Um, but yes, we are gonna use all of our Unvogue colors, which are our colors that launched with our spring collection. These are getting ready to go away soon because we are gonna have some new launches coming. And so if you have been wanting these colors, you're gonna wanna snag them now. Um, hi, Shani. I just also wanted you guys to know that Transfer Palooza is almost over. That's our buy three, get one transfer sale. So any transfer, any size is in that sale, plus in last chance and um, in specials. I think they're in specials as well. I know that Easter's in it. <laughs> so, um, but you can add them to your cart. The discount will come off automatically. If, the cheapest one is going to be the one that you're going to get for free. So of equal or lesser value. So if you're wanting to stock up on some awesome transfers, you're going to want to grab those ASAP. So let's move this off to the side. We are going to wax the surface of this because we're just going to do it like what you would do with um, any of our wood surfaces. I'm just kind of going to go up and down only because it's just easier for me. I don't know why I am doing this book. Oh, that's right. Uh, for a second, I was like, why is this backwards? It's not backwards. I am having a day, y'all. This is what's happening with me. Okay, so we are going to close up our wax. Now, as always, I will put a cart link in with the description of this video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We are going to fuzz, fuzz, fuzz because we are using paste and we will buff that back out in just a second so we are going to use this cute transfer called good things start here and we're going to use this pattern and we're going to put that towards the bottom and then we're going to use this little pattern right here to kind of break it up and then we're going to do the oh happy day or you can do any part of this and these work with our um cards as well super super cute and as always you want to keep your packaging in your backer sheet because these are reusable eight to 12 times, sometimes more depending on how well you take care of them. And just keep that in mind guys, because I'm trying to find my transfer term is because each piece of this can be used eight to 12 times. So just because you didn't use one piece as many times, you still got a lot of uses out of it. Definitely worth its cost for sure. I have some transfers that I've used so many times they're still sticky. They're just not as sticky as they were when I first got them. And you will definitely get your money's worth out of them. So if you're like, oh, I don't know about that transfer for sale. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now. It is the best sale of the season on our transfers. It's one of the hottest sales that we have as well. 
and this does have silk screen on the slug line so I'm actually going to take and put some placement tape on the bottom of that all right so each one is going to be reusable you could always put like something cute down here at the bottom if you wanted to that says you know my little book of happy things or however if you know somebody who's a paper crafter this stuff is amazing for that all right let's buff this out real quick and then I'm gonna move that camera down so you guys can see what is going on okay so I'm just set that off to the side all righty so we're gonna grab this cool pattern I love this pattern I think it's super cute um, we're gonna do hot mess with it so we're just gonna kind of make it super awesome and messy messy pattern that's what I think of it when I I look at it so I am actually going to put an arrow on my transfer I don't recommend anybody does that I'm just doing that for reasons of um, putting this back properly on its backer sheet oh my goodness I can't even grab it off there today see this is the kind of day I'm having guys I'll set that off to the side and obviously the more silk screen you have the less fuzzing that you will have hello jenny i'm happy you are here if you have any questions just go ahead and put them in the comments below so this is a cute pattern i love that it's going to be super cute on here and so we're going to do hot mess which means we are going to grab a little bit of each color I just threw that stir stick um, I will put everything, like I said, that we use here today in the cart link. We are going to open up all of these. Let's move these out of the way. So I'm not messing around with stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay. That is eggshell, wild lime, shimmer velvet, shimmer flamingo, and peach cobbler. So I'm just going to dip it in. I'm sure you guys have seen me do hot mess before. Um, but yes, this these colors are getting ready to go bye-bye soon. So I don't want you to miss out. If you were thinking about getting them, you're going to want to grab them. Just an FYI. I reuse my stir sticks because they are yes I love all the colors because they are um, reusable as well so guys budget friendly super awesome you know I'm all about being on budget I'm all about being budget friendly I don't want anyone to break the bank just to make awesome decor not not my not my thing so, and you can mix shimmers with regular colors, just so you know. So if you're like, wait, you can put shimmers with regular paste? Yes, yes you can. So hot mess method is like one of my favorites, of course. And so, um, it just, I always love how it turns out. I love that it's always unique. I can, I mean, you have to be pretty awesome to to get it exact every single time but I mean you can you could do it I suppose all right let's close all these up real quick fast 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 because we do not want them drying out I am a pop of color kind of girl um, now if you're not you don't have to get all of these you could take these right out of the cart link um, and just use one single color or if you know somebody who would love a notebook these make really cool gifts as well so ooh, I just got that on the top there not meaning to went right over let's see if I can get that cleaned up all right we're gonna pull that off and obviously we don't want to put that in any of this so let's see if I can clean that spot off how cute is that right the little hot mess all right, before I dry that, I'm gonna try and clean that off with my 
my baby wipe. I have, I use baby wipes. And this is why we wax chalk suede, guys. This is why we wax it. Can't even tell that I did anything. All right, well, let's dry that. You could keep the pattern going if you wanted to put it back on there and do it another way. Totally could do that. Keep that in mind as well. So you can make really cool, unique gifts for people or for yourself if you like to journal. I do it every day. I mind dump into a journal every day. Um, it seems to help my anxiety. So if it helps, I'm going to do it. And these little journals are not that expensive. Really, they are not. Look how cute that is, right? So now we're going to use this part. I kind of like it this way. Let me make sure that this is dry, though, guys, because I don't want to smudge anything. Just want to make sure. Oh, that is not dry. That's a shimmer. Our shimmers always take a little bit longer to dry. I just want to kind of test it a little bit. We can always put a piece of placement tape down, which would be fine, too, to protect it. But we're just going to go like this. Now it is dry. So we're going to want to use placement tape anyway because of that slug line. So these are, I'm just going to call this one dots and a line. Um, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just doing that so I know, okay, that's where that one goes. <laughs> that's why. And with it having the slug line on there, I know obviously that's the bottom of it. We're gonna do this one in one solid color. I'm thinking the shimmer violet. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I am thinking. Okay, let's see. Let's lay that right on there. I am going to use the placement tape. If I can find my placement tape. There it is. See, I'm telling you guys, today has been one of those days. Do you guys put stuff away and then you're like, oh, I know I'll remember where that's at. That's how I've been today. I literally did that with one of my surfaces. And I was like, what am I doing? Why did I do that? Okay. That's just a reminder to myself. Hey, don't chop there. Okay, we're going to use the multi-tool. We're just going to do the shimmer plum. I actually like that shimmer plum. I think it's pretty. I'm a fan of our shimmers. And it's funny because I am not a glitter person. Because glitter sticks on you forever in a day. But this washes right off. So that makes it okay. Slowly going to pull that off. There we go. So now we have a little line there. I will show you guys in just a second. Let me draw that. So we could put something up here at the top. We could do the sun. We could do good things are going to happen. We could do so many different cute little designs. Okay, so now we have that little line there. How cute is that, right? And then, let's see. What do we want to do? I kind of like that Oh Happy Day. Um, but I kind of like this, my little book of happy things, and then the little sun also, but I'm thinking, oh, that might be too much. Good things start here, could work. Uh, let's do, let's do the good things start here, and we're going to do that in, let's see. I think peach cobbler because there's not as much peach in here. I think that would actually be really cute. Or as my niece would say, very cute. That's how she always says it. So we actually end up saying it like that. So if you ever catch me saying that, that's where that comes from. I'm not crazy. It's just my niece says that and it's super cute. All right. 
So I know that there are a lot of people who love journaling. There are a lot of people who are big into paper crafts. You can use chalk on paper crafts. If you're big into scrapbooking, if you love doing all things like that, guys, you totally can do that with um, chalk. You can up scale it to make it super cool and unique. Um, all that I recommend you do is when you're using paper that you wax it. And our wax is clear, so it's not going to damage anything. It's not going to ruin the paper or anything like that. I just want to make sure I'm going straight. Okay. So we are going to use the peach cobbler. Just off that self screen and then just pull it through. And you guys can see, I didn't even get that much on here, but we have plenty to create a cute little design. Doesn't take much paste. So that's why I'm saying these paste jars last so long. They are just awesome. You never want to pull the transfer from the corners. You always want to pull it down towards you. It's a little bit easier to use that way. So if you found a journal that you found from somewhere, you totally could do a chalk project on that. You could even do it on a piece of paper and then put it on there. That would be super cute. All right. I'm going to lift this up so I can show you guys. There is the Good Things Start Here journal that we just made. How cool is that, right? So if you know someone who's really big into paper crafts, loves journaling, drawing, doodling, you totally can make awesome chalk projects. Thank you guys so much for hopping on. If you are not a designer, please click that S-H-A-R-E button for me. I will put all the information in the description of this video. And you guys have a great night. And I will see you all here tomorrow at 3 p.m. for another awesome chalk and tour design. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.